I'm thinking hip tag. That'll be the hip tag. There's kind of difference, and that's a hip thing. I've never met her, but I know for a fact that the smell in here is the smell of Fergie. It's Ivan's childhood. It's a brutal but poetic story with palpably angry elements. It's about Ivan, an orphaned boy who has wound up a lone partisan commando, and the film doesn't so much follow his preparation for redeployment as much as offer a window into his terrible life. <laughs> Ты думаешь, я не помню? Я тебя судить буду. Ivan's childhood uses inferred action to create an almost post-apocalyptic tone, in a way I think similar to Rashomon. We see flares, hear gunfire, even experience it with the characters a few times, but the real horror is off-screen and much more dreadful because of it. Жди нас в Федоровке, понял? Давай. До встречи. До свидания, Ваня. Today what I'm looking at, however, is a particular scene. There are several dream sequences in Ivan's childhood, and the director, Andrei Tarkovsky, achieves an ethereal tone with them, with simple, well-done techniques. But today I'm focusing on a scene that isn't a dream, but seems to have dream-like qualities. Ivan passes through a ruined village and meets an old man who doesn't have anything to do with the plot and only appears here. Тебя как зовут-то? Его. Пелагея, значит, вернется. Так мою старуху звали. А я избу подготовлю. What I really like about this scene is that it isn't a dream, but it is dreamlike, in a different way to Ivan's dreams. It's sort of like suddenly we're watching an asymmetrical waiting for Godot. Гвоздь потерял. Помог бы найти. Все равно делать нечего. Заходи. Вон нашел. Прямой. Да не. It's not just sad. It's alien. It almost feels like a brief trip to a purgatorial vacuum. This was Tarkovsky's feature debut, and apparently he wasn't too happy with it after it had come out. But I think the atmosphere captured and created here is a real testament to his work, because it's easy to describe simply as weird, but it's much more than that. It's sort of indefinably tonal. Tarkovsky's later film, Stalker, made in 1979, feels like this, but not exactly the same, at almost all times, and it's subsequently mesmerizing. The scene offers a glimpse into someone else's tragedy, and I think the reason why Tarkovsky only uses this dreamlike tone in this film here is because the tone, much like the sparse sound design and overcast lighting, creates a feeling of isolation that is thematically relevant. Ivan and the old man meet, but they don't really share their grief. They don't have time really to speak. They are together and alone, and together but alone. Tomorrow, never ever be poor.